Okay, so we're going to do skill number two, which is simplifying thirds. Now, earlier on, the first thing that I showed you in this playlist is I showed you that our calculator simplified certain square roots for us. We typed in the square root of 8 and it gave us 2 root 2 when you press the SD button. And when you do the square root of 45, you got 3 root 5. And I've said, what's going on here? We need to try and figure out what is happening. So I'm going to try and do this law that we looked at here. I'm going to try and use this law in reverse. I'm going to be saying, I'm going to write it down on this page because I think it's going to be helpful for us. I'm going to write it in reverse, that the square root of AB is the square root of A times the square root of B. Okay, well, let's think about what 8 is. 8 is the same as, this is like my 8th part. I'm going to think of it as two things being multiplied. The square root of 4 times 2. 8 is 4 times 2. So that's the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Now, the square root of 4 is just 2. So we have 2 multiplied by root 2. And just like with algebra, we don't write this symbol. So we don't need... this symbol. Just like with algebra. Remember when you do like 2 times x, you just write 2x. It's literally the same thing. 2 times root 2, we just write as 2 root 2. So that's how root 8 is the same as 2 root 2 that we've got here. Now, there's lots of different ways you might want to try and do this 45. We want it to be 3 root 5. And uh, I don't know, you could do like 3 times 15. You could do the square root of 3 times 15, which would give you the square root of 3 times the square root of 15. But neither of these are going to simplify because there is no square root of 3 or square root of 15. They are thirds. I mean, there is a square root of them, but they're not a nice whole number. So I'm going to read this tip at the bottom. It says, think of a square number, which is a factor of the number, then use the multiplication law. So with 45, the factors of 45 that we've got, I said it could have been 3 and 15, but that wasn't a square number. 1 and 45, well, 1 is a square number, but it's not going to work for this. And I could also do 9 times 5. Now, 9 is a square number. So this is the combo that I'm going to want to use. 45 is 9 times 5. So it's the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. The square root of 9 is 3, and we still have the root 5. I've just skipped this step here because we don't need to write that symbol. So the square root of 45 is 3 root 5, which is exactly what we had here. So you're going to try and find factors where one of them is a square number, and then you can use this multiplication law. So I'm going to do these examples. I'm going to do a to f and then you're going to do a to f on the your turn side. So we're going to fully simplify the following. So for 12, I think that 12 can be written as a square number times a normal number. Well, the square number is going to be a 4, and the other number will be 3. So the square root of 4 is 2, and then we still have the root 3. I'm just going to quickly put this in the correct colour that we want. Okay, so then for 75, we need to think of a square number that is going to be the square root, uh, sorry, a square number that is a factor of 75. Why not even drop the square numbers down here? So we've got 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, etc. Well, I think that 25 is going to be a good one for this. So I'm going to do the square root of 25 and the square root of 3 because 75 is... 25 times 3. I'm on a silly mode here. 25 times root 3. So the square root of 25 is 5, so we have 5 root 3. I'm just going to show you on the calculator that this works, because if I do the square root of 75, you do get 5 root 3. So the square root of 300, now I didn't continue this list, but we know that 100 is a square number, so it's the square root of 100 times the square root of 3. 300 is 100 times 3. The square root of 100 is 10, so we have 10 root 3. Let's check our answer, the square root of 300. Yep, it's 10 root 3. Now, looking through this list with 32 that we've got here, 4 goes into 32, but so does 16. So I'm going to try and do the biggest number in the list. 32 is 16 multiplied by 2. The square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 2 is just going to stay as root 2. 72, looking through this list, it's in the 4 times table, but I think we want to go as big as possible, and it's actually going to be 36. So I'm just going to show you, if you wrote it the other way around, if you wrote it like this, you would have a root 2 
times 6, which is 6 root 2. So that's why we tend to put the square number first, because if you put the square number first, you get this. If I do that 72 is 36 times 2, the square root of 36 is 6, and you still have the root 2. Let's check that it works. The square root of 72 is 6 root 2. Now 98, looking at our square numbers that we've got here, I think it's 49 times 2. So I'm going to do the square root of 49 times the square root of 2. The square root of 49 is 7, so we have 7 root 2. Let's check our answer. The square root of 98 is 7 root 2. Okay, so you guys are going to have a go at this question that's just on the, these ones here. So pause the video and see if you can do these. Okay, root 20. I'm going to go a little bit faster. That's the same as root 4 times root 5, because 4 is a square number. Root 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 5. Root 50. That's going to be two numbers. It's going to be a 25 and a 2, because 25 times 2 is 50. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 2 we just leave there as a third. Now 500 is going to be the square root of 100 times by the square root of 5. The square root of 100 is 10, so we have 10 root 5. And obviously you could check these all on your calculator. Now looking on the square numbers, 9 is going to be a factor of this. So you go the square number first. 27 is 9 times 3. The square root of 9 is 3, so it is 3 root 3. This one also has 9 as a factor. So I'm going to do the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. The square root of 9 is 3, so it is 3 root 2. And then 48 is definitely in the 4 times table, but actually if you push it, it is in the 16 times table. It is the square root of 16 times the square root of 3, because 16 times 3 is 48. So you get 4 root 3. Now, I'll just very quickly show you, if it was uh, square root of 48 and you didn't go to this one, if you did, let's say, f square root of 4 times the square root of 12, and you got 2 root 12, well, you need to go a bit further because root 12 is not going to be fully simplified because we know that root 12 is 2 root 3. So I'm going to be exploring in the next video what you do if they need to be simplified, if they look a little bit like this instead, how you can go that one stage further. Found this video helpful? Then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like the next video in the playlist, you can click here to be taken straight to it. And as always, wishing you the very best for all your studies.